just sitting there watching all of those incredible programs makes me realize that we really, really should get a telly. Our favorite people at the Women's March last year, maybe you saw them, they were the people who were dressed as suffragettes. The ones with the sign who said, it's a hundred years later and it's still a bit rubbish. Yes. Thank you so much. At the women. <laughs> um, yeah, that's, yeah. Um, so, sorry, I'm just very shocked, but thank you very, very much. A bit of a personal one, but I would love to dedicate this award to my Nana Francis, who sadly passed away the first week of filming. So she never got to see Villanelle, oh, but she was the life and soul of everything. And when she was here, she used to say to me, you get it off me, you know. <laughs> and, um, and I just want to stand up here tonight and say, Nana Francis, you were absolutely right all along. And uh, finally, just want to end with uh, an apology uh, to the brilliant Keely Hawes. Uh, this is the second time we've killed her. And uh, <laughs> I promise if you'll work with us again, we won't kill you next time. Since I... Uh, began to play Carolyn in Killing Eve, which has been probably the greatest pleasure of my life, people have begun to suspect that I am a spy. <laughs> and I just want to thank the director, Harry Bradbeer, for that, because he said, no, no, you can't play this part with an Irish accent. And just to say thanks to everyone uh, in it for just taking massive risks the whole time. Jodie Comer almost swallowed a wasp in Tuscany. It was, uh, <laughs> it was a really edgy moment that... Uh, that we did capture somewhere. <laughs> but I'm very used to being a bridesmaid, um, not the bride.